This is part of the language learning lie that goes on in Thailand. Thais recognise the importance of learning English, but it's an extremely difficult language for them to learn. There are no concepts of English tenses in Thai, especially the, the perfect tenses. This is why most Thais will only use the present simple in English. Well, where did you go yesterday? Past tense, I go market. You know, bai talat would be a perfectly acceptable answer in Thai, but not in English. You need to use that past tense. Where, where has your friend gone? Present perfect, she go toilet. Uh, for an event that's happened already, do they use past tense, um, I ate, present perfect, I have eaten, past perfect, I had eaten. Very, very difficult for them to understand. So learning English isn't much fun. But the only way to get them to learn is to tell them that it is fun. But I think this this actually has the the opposite effect to that intended because if you if you put up a sign like this saying we make English fun it sets an expectation it makes the kids think that it will be fun and when you start really getting into the language they realize that it isn't fun it doesn't meet their expectation and that then they're very disappointed I've always found in life that the level of satisfaction depends on whether things exceed or fall short of my expectation. So set the bar high here. Don't, don't expect it to be easy to learn Thai. It's going to be quite difficult. And if you set that expectation, then you're not going to be disappointed. However, as I said before, it's an extremely worthwhile skill and nothing worthwhile having in life comes easily. It's just something you need to remember. Today I'm going to introduce two new vowels. They both make the same sound, perform the same function, but one is used in a lot of words and one is only used in about 20 words. And before doing that, I'll just do a, a very quick recap. So the most basic word or syllable or, or name is in Thai is just a vowel sound. As I said before, if that happens, you, you can't just write the vowel. You need to use that zero consonant. So the name of this restaurant is just ah, which is the, the vowel sound that this vowel makes with the zero consonant. The second most basic word or sound is just an initial consonant followed by a vowel with no final consonant. So here we have the four fa, uh, one of the F consonants followed again by the, the long R vowel there's a tone mark second tone mark but I don't want you to worry too much about tones at the moment at this stage I just want to cover the basic sounds that the consonants and vowels make and in due course I'll do probably two tutorials on tones so this one just an, an F initial consonant followed by a long R fa it's got a falling tone. As I said, the, the tones are very, very difficult to get to get right in Thai. So with a falling tone, you know, we really need to put some energy into the, the front of the word and then, then just let it tail off. Far. And this, uh, this photo was taken outside of a skin clinic. And this word means some kind of um, is it melasma, is it? It's like a, a skin discoloration. And Thais regard these things as being really serious. It's the same with freckles, which what they, they call um, grap in Thai. I had lots of freckles as a kid. My daughter's got freckles. Most Westerners think they're quite cute, but Thais see them as a really sort of serious issue. And if the kid's got a few freckles, then they'll go off to the skin clinic to have them lasered off. And this example is a word with an initial consonant a vowel and a final consonant. It's a photo I've used before in the tutorials and it's just one word. It's this word here above the, the 20. So it's the four far again, the F initial consonant. There's no tongue mark this time. Then again, the long R vowel. <clears throat> and in this word, the final consonant is the gorgai, which as a final consonant makes an, an unreleased K sound. So far, 
Well, so you've got a load time. Fuck. And that means to leave or deposit. And this is a place where you can leave or deposit luggage. There are several differences between written time and written English. Um, as you would have seen with the sign we just saw at the, the baggage deposit place, so there are no spaces between words. And I think having a space between words would make things easier, but once you get the hang of Thai, you start to separate the words naturally. It's not a, as big a problem as you might think. And whereas in English, the vowels are always written after the consonant, in Thai, they can be written underneath, as in these U or U vowels. Above, the uh, I, E, U, and U. And with this, this Mahanagat, it's always written above. And with this Sara A, always written afterwards. And the long A, always written afterwards. But it's not random. The the, the vowels are always written in the same place. It's just that they're, they, they may be above, below, before, or after. And with the vowel combinations that we look at later, they actually surround the consonant. But again, it's something that you get used to fairly quickly. And another major difference that when I, when I watch um, YouTube channels, especially the ones done by ties, they, they never mention this fact. I, I think it's it's because they it's so natural to them that they, they don't think it's worth talking about or, or they don't even realise that foreigners will find it a strange concept. And it's something that many transliteration systems don't take into account either. And that's that the sound of the consonant changes whether the consonant is an initial or a final consonant. So look at these two words. Uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what they are. This is mod dang, and mod is ant, dang is the color red. So ant red. Um, the Thai structure is now an adjective. English will be adjective noun. So red ant. Now if we look at the the second word. Um, we see the, the vowel in here. This is a vowel I, I haven't covered yet. I will in due course. This do de is the initial consonant. Now, as an initial consonant, it makes a, a D sound. D for dog. Okay, but, but in the first word, we can see the same letter, but in this word, it's used as a final consonant. It's got the more ma m as the initial consonant. It hasn't got a written vowel, which is another problem in Thai. You need to add that vowel. In this case, it will be like a, a short O. And the final consonant is the do deck. But because it's a final consonant, it makes a sort of unreleased T sound, not, not a D sound as it would as an initial consonant. So if you were transliterating this word, you'd write an M for the more ma, then you'd have to write an O because there's, there's no written vowel in Thai, but it's, there's an O sound. And then the most phonetically accurate way to transliterate it would, to, would be to write this as a T. So M-O-T, mod. Now, what some transliteration systems do, they just say they have a, a fixed transliteration. So they would say that, you know, door deck is a, a D, whatever. Uh, source uh, is, a, is an S. But when these, when these consonants are used as final consonants, they change their sound. And the transliteration systems don't take this into account. So M-O-T will be a more phonetically correct transliteration than M-O-D. You, you need to re remember for every consonant what the sound is as an initial consonant and what it is as a final consonant. And I've done a summary on my on my website, so I'll give a link to that page below, um, so you can refer to it when you need to. The two vowels I'm going to introduce today are these two. They look quite similar, but this one's got a little notch at the top, and this one's got another loop at the top. And as I said before, they perform exactly the same function, they make the same sound. Just that this one here is used in a lot of words, and this one here 
is only used in 20 words and I've written those words below and if you're trying to remember the names of the vowels and consonants this one is called my malai and this one is called my muan let's look at a few examples so both vowels written before the initial consonant make a, a short i sound and you can also make a short i sound with this vowel combination the mahanagat and the yoya consonant so if, if they if they're written above and after a consonant it makes a, a short i sound the same and there's also a, a long i sound in thai which is made by using the the long sara a vowel and the yo yak as a as a final consonant now with transliteration it, it doesn't distinguish between long and short vowels so with all these it would it would just use ai this word here my uh, with a falling tone it's no or not it's used to ne negate things so if you want something ow if you don't want something may owl uh jai this, this one uses the the my muan vowel uh george an has got a, a j initial consonant and it means heart mind or, or spirit this word here is the same basic sound jai but it's it's got the the long i the the sara a and the yo yak uh with a low tone jai so it means to pay so with these two words if they were transliterated using the standard system they would both come out as j-a-i but one's got a short vowel one's got a, a long vowel uh sukho tai if we look at the the final syllable <clears throat> we see the the other way that you can make an i sound so it, it's got a tosahan initial consonant then the Mahanagat and, and Yoyak as a final consonant, so a tie, that's, that's also a short I sound. Uh, these two words demonstrate the, the Thai sense of humour. The, the Thai words, as you can see from the spelling, for near and far are very, very similar, apart from a, a tone difference. This, this word for far doesn't use a, a tone mark. And the word for near uses the second tone mark. So near has got a falling tone. Glai and far has got a, a mid tone. Glai. I, so, I told you these tones are difficult and I, I demonstrate that every time. Now with these vowels, um, there's only one word I know that's got a final consonant. Normally, it's, it's just the vowel and then an initial consonant. The, the only word I know that's got a final consonant is the, the word Thai for, you know, for the country and the people. So it's got the, the, the Sara, the I vowel, a T initial consonant, Tho Sahan, but it's also got the Yo Yak final consonant. As far as I'm aware, there's no other word like that. You know, if I'm wrong, please leave me a comment. To wrap up, let's just take a look at some real world examples. And when I was going through my hundreds of photos of signs, these two vowels didn't come up very often. You know, sort of fairly rare in signs. So there's two words, and the first word is one we just looked at. We've got the I one vowel, and then the, the consonant is the George R J, so it's Jai, so heart or minds. And here we have Dodek uh, and Sara E D. So that, that means that part so it means heart, and this part means good. So a good heart. Uh, Jai D. And when, when Thai is referred to someone as being Jai D, they're, they're kind or generous. This is another word we looked at in the examples um, the I vowel, Tosahan, the, the T initial consonant. And then the your yak y final consonant that's the word Thai uh, for for country or people and this word underneath is shop uh, Thai shop
and here's the last real world example. It's uh, a Thai dish that lots of foreigners uh, seem to know of. And once again, I, I don't like the way that it's transliterated, you know, um, pad Thai. As, as I've mentioned several times, when, when the, the door deck consonant is used as a final consonant, it makes a sort of unreleased T sound. And this Mahanagat is more like a, an English U rather than an A. So we've got the uh, the P initial consonant, Mahanagat, and then the, the door deck. And it's more like put. It's sort of some, more like something you do on a golf course, but with that unreleased T. So not putt, but putt. And then um, the second word. This is interesting actually, because I, when I heard that word, I, I always thought it was um, referring to you know the country or the people. But if that were the case, it should have the the final your yuck consonant. It hasn't. It's just uh, the sada i vowel. And then there's the Tor Sahan initial consonant, so Pad Thai. If you've managed to follow and remember everything we've done so far, you're doing really well and you'll already be able to read hundreds of words that you see on signs. If you don't understand something, if you've got a question, please leave it in a comment below. If you've got other feedback or comments, please leave them below. Thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing and more videos soon.